Good guys, here we'll be looking at these easy steps on how to fix lagging, slow and freezing problems on your Windows computer. After this, your computer will definitely be returned back to its perfect state and run smoothly again. Every step in this video is important, so please watch until the end. Before we begin, if you're yet to subscribe to this channel, please subscribe, leave a like and also share your thoughts in the comment section. Let's proceed. The first thing you want to do is to go to your storage. I'm going to go right here to your Windows icon. Left click on that and I'm going to type storage. Then tap on enter. All right. As we can see here, we have everything detailed here and you can see how much storage is left and you can see what you've used so far. All right. This is good because um, we've barely used up to 50% of the storage here. So first thing you're going to do right here, you're going to scroll down a bit and here in storage sense, you're going to toggle this on. After doing that, just click on this, left click on that. You're going to see this run storage sense. We're going to choose uh, one of these, either month or week or day. What it's going to do is that your computer is going to automatically clear off residual files. So here I'm just going to choose every week. So every week is expected that your computer is going to clear off all your junk files automatically. All right. So right now I'm just going to close this. So now after checking your storage, if you see that you don't have up to 50% or you just have um, barely 20% left in your storage, go ahead and delete whatever you don't need on your computer. All right. Go to your downloads, go to your document, delete videos, delete whatever you don't need. Okay. And one more thing is that this recycle bin, like for instance, I can just empty the bin and do this often. Okay. So after deleting all unwanted documents and files from your computer, we're going to look for unwanted apps, remove apps that you don't need. I'll show you one easy method here. Go back to your windows icon here. You're going to type on remove. So here we have the list of all the softwares installed on this computer. So for example, if I don't want this software anymore, there's a third party app. I'm just going to go right here. I'm going to click on this three dots here. I'm going to click on uninstall. Now you're going to ask if you're sure you just click on yes. And that's done. So you're just going to go through all the list and delete whatever software or app sitting on your computer, taking space, you uninstall these apps and be careful guys, not to uninstall any of your computer component or anything that has to do with windows security, just uninstall the third party apps that you don't need. Okay. After doing that, we're just going to close these and we'll go to the next step. You're just going to go on your keyboard. You're going to press your windows and R key together. Okay. Windows and R. Yeah, we're just going to type percent temp percent tap on enter. Here we have the list of all temporary files and you're just going to select control A to highlight everything. Then hold on shift delete. So it's going to ask you, just click on yes to delete. There are some files that won't delete. That's okay. Just go ahead and check on this and click on skip. It's not going to delete important files from your computer. This is just to remove residual files and also your temporary files. Okay. Uh, once you're done with that, we're just going to X on this and we're going to go back to the same thing again, windows and R. All right. So this time I'm going to type clean M G R tap on enter. We're just going to check on everything here, which includes the recycle bin, which I just did manually okay so you're just gonna check on everything here you're just gonna click on okay similarly this process is deleting residual files from your computer now go on to the next step go down to your windows icon right click on it and you want to click on settings just gonna toggle off this transparency effect after that we're just gonna go to the next step without closing these we're gonna go to system on the left side of our screen right here click on system and we're gonna go to notification just select notification. So right there we have all this toggled on and you're just going to go ahead and toggle off any app you don't want to get notifications from. So leaving your Windows security, I'm just going to toggle off some which I don't really want to get any notifications from because these things slow down your computer one way or the other. So just toggle it off. All right. So after doing that, we're just going to proceed to X on this, close it, and we're going to go to the next step. Go here to the windows icon, right click on it, and we're going to select the task manager, right? Left click on that. So here we're going to select startup apps on the left side here. We can see the list of all these apps. I'm going to go ahead and disable 
mostly third-party apps. I'm not going to start by disabling this. The reason why I'm doing this is because most of these apps slow down the booting of your computer. You're going to disable whatever is not in line with your computer, okay? Anything that has to do with Windows security, uh, anything that has to do with your computer component, just leave it the way it is and disable, disable, disable. Uh, HP, we're going to leave it that way and just going to disable this. This will help to speed up the booting of your computer. All right. After doing that, we're just going to X this, go to the next step. This step is very important. Right now, we're going to scan for malware and virus. The good news is that Windows 11 comes with inbuilt antivirus functionality. Click on this. I'm going to select this shield icon right here. I'm going to select this virus and threat protection. Okay, just select it. If you click on scan options, the two major concerns here are the quick scan and full scan. If you've not scanned your computer for virus or malware for a long time, I recommend you go for the full scan. All right. The only downside is that the full scan takes some time, but it's very effective because it's going to go deeper into your entire computer system. For the sake of this video, I'm just going to go for the quick scan and I'm going to scan now. So we just let that go on and just going to minimize this. Now I'm going to check for Windows update. We're going to right click on this Windows icon and go on to our settings and we're going to select Windows update. On the top right here, click on check for update. It's very important to check a computer for updates. As you can see now, we have update and you're just going to let this run until the end okay if you don't update your computer regularly you're going to have all these bugs and you're going to have all these issues with lags on your computer all right that is it with the windows update we're going to allow the update to continue and as you can see it's still downloading right here the first one is completed and we're going to go to this very last step which i'm going to show you now you're going to click on this windows icon and here we're going to type cmd now we have the command prompt here, just click on run as administrator. All right, now we're just gonna type this simple command. Just SFC space slash scan now. Let's tap on enter. So this process is gonna scan your entire computer for any fault any underlying issues and it's going to rectify that problem and this is going to take some time um, roughly five to ten minutes to scan so um, just be patient with the process so as we can see right here the scan is already complete it says windows resource protection did not find any integrity violations that is a good thing. All right. So once that's done, you just go ahead and close this X on it. Once you've done all the steps, the next thing you're going to do is to restart your computer. Restart your computer, then you should notice some great changes in your computer. Okay. And um, before you restart, make sure to check your Windows update. As we can see here, it's still installing. As soon as the installation is completed, you go ahead and restart your computer. Okay. So check the Windows update, check the virus scan, then restart your computer. All right. So that's it about this video. It's a good thing we managed to do all this without the use of a third party software. I hope this video helped you. If it did, leave us a like. Also, we'll be waiting for your comment at the comment section. Remember to subscribe to this channel. Have a nice day and peace out.